Alright. I suppose we should start this thing. Uh, anyway. Hey, everyone. Hi. How uh, you doing? We're playing games. That's what we do. So, what have you been up to these last few weeks? I got shot. Again. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, I got a second vaccine, is what I mean. You don't get it? I mean, I've been fully vaccinated. Yeah. I mean, we still have, we still have that whole uh, eight months later booster shot, to, like to prevent the other strains. Yeah. Um. Okay. So yeah, last time, uh, uneven buddies happened. There was three of us. I'm tired from that. I like went to bed early other day because I was worn out. Um, this time... I'm worn out because I was up in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Anyway, we're playing more of this game, because... I mean, we... It's fun. I have nothing better to do, really. Um, also, I hacked my Wii U system. It's only a little thing called Homebrew on it. Which is, uh... I hope Nintendo doesn't find me. You probably shouldn't be admitting to stuff like that on video. You realize that, right? Oh, well. Uh. I mean, to be fair, I've admitted to pirating, I think. So. I guess. I haven't pirated yet. It was a poison bottle. Alright. Uh. So, uh, I watched the movie Free Guy. In, uh. August. I went, I went out of town and watched Free Guy in the mm. place I was out of town. So that mean we could actually talk about it? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. I like how they got uh, Chris Evans for that one scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the shit? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was fun. Yeah. Fun times. Yeah. I actually like the major story beats of the, of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... I, sp I especially liked it, how, how they resolved the, the whole, uh... Issue of, like... Uh, of the whole, you know, relationship aspect of it all. Yeah. How about it? like, can you really call it falling in love with an AI when the AI was already kind of... Designed to fall in love with that type of person? <laughs> yeah. Um... Pokimane was in it. Eh. Famous streamers were in it for some reason. It actually makes sense. Yeah. God damn it. Well, you don't like the fact that it actually makes sense to no, have the... that. Eh. Like streamers and, and people who usually play games be on a movie all about a video game? No, it makes sense, but... Yeah. That's, that's all I have to say. Alright, uh, increasing some bonds, and we have a horse now. Yep. Um, people are talking. Oh. This, mm. this one. No. Alright. Uh, let's see. What else has happened? Um. I started playing D&D &D again. Sounds boring. It was actually pretty fun. Uh, the thing is, I haven't played D and D since high school, uh, because of the fact that um, I kind of don't have many friends. Yeah. And ever since I started college, I have not made a single friend. <laughs> Sad. Sad, but true. Yeah. Can't afford. I can't afford. I quite literally haven't like made a single friend since I've graduated from high school. <laughs> That's fun. And, and I'm not counting kind of online friends, because there are people I'm acquainted with online, but that doesn't really fucking count now, does it? Yeah. Does it? Three bananas. Um... Like, I don't know their names in real life. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't really know who, who they are in relation to people. Hell, for all I know, they could be, like, hopple awful people, and I wouldn't have fucking known. Yeah. You never know. Oh, you tried. Uh, what else is it? Uh, but, like, the way I got into this was the fact that, uh, I actually got reunited with an old friend of mine. 
Oh. Uh, I don't know if you remember him, but Brandon? No. Okay, yeah, you don't, because I don't think you hanged out with us in the TRC. Um... I but <laughs> I barely remember anything out of high school as is. Okay, do you remember Nick? Yeah. Okay, he was a, f a friend of both me and Nick. Ah. Uh, yeah, he was also part of, uh, well, he was momentarily part of the anime club. He left it. <laughs> but, like, what happens is that, like, um, I, like, I have a friend, him, around junior year and get to really, like, be friends with him during our senior year. Uh, we were actually pretty good friends. But we lost contact with each other because, one, he goes to a different school, obviously. Yeah. Mostly, mostly because he he goes to... Uh, do you really want to say... He goes to a UC. I was going to say, do you really want to say the name of a school on camera? Well, he goes to a UC. Yeah. Alright. Um, I'm allowed to say that much. They know we live in California. True. Yeah, we're California. Um, meanwhile, like, um, yeah, there, there was also the issues of him losing my, my actual phone number, <laughs> and me having my contacts list deleted twice. Twice? It's happened twice over the, ever since I've graduated. That's fun. Yeah, <laughs> you can kind of see how I've lost contact with a lot of people. Yeah. Um, uh, anyways, what had happened was that... Recent, recently, uh, Brandon and Nick were talking about the events in, uh, that have been going on in One Piece. And, uh... Isn't Netflix making a live-action adaptation of that? Yes, I'm optimistic, but slightly worried. Worried because it's a live-action Netflix adaptation? But optimistic because the guy in charge is actually a, a very huge One Piece fan. And you could tell from his appearances on, on video... Videos related to One Piece and, like, with One Piece YouTubers. Yeah. You can tell that the guy clearly knows and loves One Piece. Yeah. So, I'm optimistic. But. But hesitant. Because automatically, I don't trust Netflix very much nowadays. Death they Note. did a good job with The Witcher. I'll say that. Death Note. But, yeah, they've had things like Death Note. <laughs> but on the plus side, I know there, I, I know there is another reason to, get, to give my... The benefit of the doubt to, uh, like, the showrunner. <coughs> Lethal joke character, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I did title one episode of that. Yeah, I saw. But but you, you want to know why I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt and, like, be optimistic towards him? Yeah, sure. Because the reason there hadn't been a single live-action adaptation of One Piece up until now is because the Ichiro Oda, the, uh, the author... Refused to allow one into to like come into existence until he viewed someone. He he found someone who was actually like who who actually adapted properly. Well, did he find someone? Yeah, like the guy had to actually meet with the offer and like <laughs> he was like basically interviewed on this whole thing, and it wasn't until he was satisfied that he gave the go ahead for this entire thing. Sounds intimidating. <laughs> yeah, the author of the second most popular comic in all time. Uh, in all time, second most. Yes, it's actually managed to surpass Batman in lifetime sales. Oh, what's the first? Superman. Oh, of course. I was. I thought I was gonna say Marvel or something, but I guess like individually. Uh, specifically, it's like the amount of sales in their entire lifetime as ah. a comic. I see. Yes. That means in the tw 20 or so years that One Piece has been a thing, it has managed to outsell Batman's entire history of comics. That's a lot to think about. Yeah. That is how insanely popular One Piece is. And it's even more popular in Japan where it's actually, you know, like a major thing. Because here in, in the States, it is nowhere near as popular as it normally would be explicitly because of the fact that, like, a lot of people had a bad first impression of it. <laughs> yeah. Because one, they had uh, the fact that, well, the way it got brought over here was through four kids. Uh, oh, yes. Everyone loves four kids. Two, a lot of people were turned off by the art style. And uh, three, it's fucking long. <laughs> yeah, it has like 900. It has over a thousand chapters. <laughs> oh boy, I love triangles. 
uh, the the most recent chapter was 1,023. One thousand. Weren't they just like? How long has this been running for? Since the late nineties. Eternal Oda barely takes breaks. Wow. It's only recently that there's been an influx of breaks explicitly thanks to the whole corona outbreak. Oh, yeah. But outside of that, it's rare for him to ever take a break. Like, the man has basically been keeping this uh, this manga alive by sheer force of will. And he's even gotten himself hospitalized over at a time. Jesus. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a story that he's been thinking up since he was ten. He has planned this out since that long ago. And you want to know how you can tell that, that he's he's been good at it? How? He's actually willing to change things explicitly because he realizes that it works better thematically. Or he's willing to throw in completely new elements because he's fought, fought them up and it expands the world building. <laughs> there are characters who are major players in the story right now who were never in the original plan. I don't know much about One Piece, so I can't really say much. <laughs> like... I know when I... Funny, funny story about One Piece. Uh, when I first got my dog, uh, the, the shelter gave him the name Luffy. <laughs> and I did not know it was a reference to One Piece until a year ago. <laughs> but, like, for reference, the current artwork or arc we're on is one of the last arcs, right? Ooh. Because it, he's planning on ending it fairly soon, and by fairly soon, we mean in the ne in the next decade or so. Yeah. But like, um, this uh, the arc related, uh, uh, like the character who's like the main bad guy of this arc, right? Yeah. He actually has been in the plan this entire time, and that's because the four like war, uh, 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 the four like warlords, uh, not warlords, um, four emperors of the sea, which are which have been like kind of alluded to for the last like decade or so or more, and have actually been major players recently. Yeah. Uh, they were essentially the only major bad guys that the, that the crew would have encountered in the original plan. Wow. So, these are characters that have had decades of development e in Oda's mind and, like, planning on, like, how they would work, how they would, l how they fight and stuff like that. Jeez. So yeah, you can clearly see the kind of the kind of meticulous man Oda is. Yeah, I can tell. He is. Yeah. He is easily one of the best hoppers in the industry. It's actually amazing. Yeah. And it helps because like the way he writes in the world building, it's it's in a way that makes you feel like you're part of that. That not only are you like you looking into the world, but you are like part of it and. Oh, like, welcome into it. That is the kind of feeling you get from the characters. I see. Uh, um, what were we talking about before One Piece? Oh, yeah, my D&D &D thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyways, they were talking about One Piece, and, uh, like, Nick had brought me up, because, uh, because I made him talk about it, uh, like, every once in a while, too. Yeah. And what had happened was, like, Brandon, uh, like, remember that he still he doesn't he doesn't actually have a, con a way to contact me because it's like so how does he yada 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 and um, he asked for like my phone number again yeah. because like he you know he, like I mentioned he lost it yeah and uh, then we reconnected and then he like invited me over to uh, invited me to his uh, well game. game yeah. And the next day over, we'd actually play it, because, like, he plays on Wednesdays. So we re it on Tuesday. Uh, and it was actually pretty fun. It was actually nice to playing, like, a legitimate game of D&D &D that isn't a giant shit post. <laughs> because the, the way we played in high school was quite literally shit posting the entire time. I guess. Like, you, you can tell a game is a shit post. When people are playing Dio Brando. <laughs> Perfection. I did say the same about this game. It's pretty much a shit post that Nintendo decided, hey, let's put this out. It's like. Yeah. Uh, speaking of anime, um, I recently 
found a way to get... I recently got the entire Kirby anime on my Google Drive. Kirby right back at you? Yes. The entire anime on my Google Drive. That probably... N no, way. Is it it's up? It's dubbed. But isn't there that one episode that's still missing, or did they ever find that? It's an entire series. I gotta look into it, because there was one episode that went missing. Was there? It was like, it has the entire series, plus a pilot, plus a 3D special, and, uh... Oh. Yo, uh... Um, back the fuck away. Pi the pilot, and, uh, there was the reanimated collab, which got taken off of YouTube. Uh, did that get taken off? I'm pretty yeah. sure I could find it on Daily Motion. It's on, uh, Newgrounds, so. though. Mm. Yeah, I'll take it off of your copyright. From Nintendo. And I'm like, Nintendo cares about their animes? Oops. Okay. Okay, yeah, you're right. They did find it. Yeah. The episode shell shocked. Yeah. Yeah, I have the entire series on my Google Drive now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So I, I like that show. <laughs> it's a funny show. It was a nice way to introduce you to the concept of Kirby having actual storylines. Yes. Like, uh, I had the the uh, Kirby's Dream Collection on the Wii. Yeah. The 20, and it had three episodes on the disc. It was actually one of my favorite shows to watch uh, on Saturday mornings. Back when I watched, like, four kids. Four uh, kids. Like, I never on even, CW. I never even heard about it until the Wii Collection, which was 2012. But yeah, I actually kind of grew because up watching get, that show. Because get this, I only watched like four t television channels growing up. Uh, I watched, well, I watched three and then their sister channels. Basically Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Disney Channel. And by extension, uh, all of <laughs> all of the Nickelodeon networks, like... Nicktoons. Nicktoons. Teen Nick. Not Teen Nick. Uh, Gas. Gas. Uh, you know, uh, Nick Gas. No. Games and sports. Yeah. I watched, uh... It's, it's basically where they dumped all of their, uh... uh game show ga uh, shows. Uh, uh, I watched Boomerang. Which Obviously. Was, which is Tartan Network's sister channel. That was a shit. Back before they kind of just stopped putting on the old shows. Yeah. Nowadays they kind of put most of the shows that they don't care about. <laughs> yeah. And I, I have fucking Xfinity and Boomerang's not even on that. So, before then I... Before I move To be fair, there. though, it's it's also a case of, why the fuck are you watching it on TV? Don't you have HBO Max? <laughs> I do have HBO Max. <laughs> As a matter of fact. As to why they don't do that anymore. It's yeah. because, like, all the old, old, old stuff is on streaming services now. Yeah. They, they just kind of expect you to say, hey, fuck it. My dad still uses cable, though. Oh, I shoved more Mies into here for background characters. Well, that's Celeste. Yep. I shoved more Mies into here for background characters. Yeah. So this is a lawn movie, apparently. Apparently. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's finally over. <laughs> that felt like an eternity. Probably was. Was it all a dream? Why the fuck would we, be, would we be still be inside Moon Peter for that long? Um, I, like I, I struggled to stay longer than the than the runtime of Endgame. <laughs> you're either watching an entire cinematic universe, or the or an entire. There are people who watch the entirety of the MCU. <laughs> I know. Before the end, before Endgame came out, I questioned those guys' sanity. I also questioned their bladders. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, there's gotta be, like... They should, like, go to the bathroom during the credits. Yeah, there has to be interme intermissions between each movie. Yeah. Because that's, like, 20-plus hours of movie. Yeah, like... It, it, that That's insanity. Oh, yeah. Duh, fuck. Uh... <laughs> Alright, horse. Like, I can understand watching, like... A duo of movies before the third... Before third the third one. and the trilogy comes out. But, but an entire fucking cinematic <laughs> universe! My dude! How do you have that much free time? Yeah. And then there's like... Like, in the future, Marvel, let's say a, 
another ending kind of movie happens, uh, they have to go back and watch 40 movies, and now all the Disney Plus shows as well. Oh, God. Because uh, those are tying into the movies now. Well, yeah, that's because unlike the, unlike the next Netflix shows, they have full creative control of that stuff. Yeah. Pincer, or Pincer, I don't know how to pronounce that. Pincer. Pincer. It's but. called a pincer maneuver. You just teleported. Basically, while someone someone's going on the front, someone goes on the back. I see. You know, kind of like this, like. This. Yeah, I get what that is. Oops. It actually is an actual like legitimate strategy in war. Wow. Ugh. Speaking um. of Disney Plus shows that I'm like optimistic for. Uh, I hope I really do hope that the Percy Jackson adaptation comes out good. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Bowser. Speaking as a as a guy that grew up reading Percy Jackson uh, Jackson and loving it, and uh, knowing that the only adaptations we have are those fucking movies, <laughs> I really do hope this comes out great. <laughs> I tried reading Percy Jackson once. I got it. Why though? There's a lot of words. Yeah, that's called reading a book. I know. It's not even that big of a book. I know. Were you able to read a Harry Potter book? No. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I was like, bullshit, those books are longer! <laughs> the only books I'm able to read are Diary of a Wimpy Kid these days, speaking of which. And speaking of, also speaking of which... I, know, I wouldn't understand that feeling, I actually read all the time. Yeah. Speaking of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, uh, a new animated movie is also coming to Disney Plus in December. Oh yeah, I saw the poster, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. I mean, uh, there was the three live-action movies. Uh, well, why did he go to Disney, by the way? Uh, because the rights to the Wimpy Kid movies were held by 20th Century Fox. Ah! And they got bought by Disney. And he believes that Disney would actually be willing to go through with, uh, with like, chintzy uh, kid stuff explicitly because they actually do that stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah. There was the three live-action movies, and there was a fourth. I did not see the fourth, I heard it was awful. Well, if you watch the, th the first three movies, there was, no re there was no reason to watch that fourth one. Yeah. I, I almost- Especially because it's like- yeah. I almost watched the fourth- The, the movie they- the, the, like, the book they adapted was that one, The Long Haul. Yeah. Which is like- Ain't that just That's skipping the, a ton of them? They skipped... Well, they already skipped the third book and combined it into the third movie with the fourth book. Yeah, but that one had the excuse of actually combining the two. Yeah. Um, they skipped five, six, seven, and eight after that. Yeah, that's that's a bit iffy on adaptations. Although, they apparently consider doing Cabin Fever as an animated TV special. Hmm. But that never... I don't know. I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed the first three movies. Yeah. But I felt like they were standalone enough that there wasn't a need to ever make a fourth one. Well, they made a fourth one with a completely new cast. Yeah, like that went over well. Uh, especially because like the way that the, the way that the movies were like written and like their stories uh, went. Yeah. You can easily view them as just a trilogy of like his attempts to get to, to get like all his attention. <laughs> And by that, by that, by that third movie, he actually does get it. Yeah. So there was literally no reason to continue with that plot thread on, and that was the only major prop, uh, plot thread that was going on outside of the idea that that uh, Greg has to like connect with the rest of his family. Yeah. Which was basically the uh, the, the only other plot threads those three yeah. movies had. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Sephiroth hair. Uh, I was gonna say, I guess the excuse for making a fourth movie became movie was uh, m more money. But uh, if I recall correctly, uh, Long Haul did not do that well at the box office. <laughs> Actually, let me Google this shit. It definitely did not. Uh, Everyone was pissed that they replaced Roderick. I know. I I remember that. <laughs> to be fair, he was usually one of the funnest parts of the, parts of those movies. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Everyone was pissed off. Like we were hashtag not my Roderick. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. This new movie's gonna be a full reboot. And it's gonna be a re-adaptation of the first book. I, I thought you said it was a show. No, it's a movie. It's a reboot. 
of a di- an animated movie. Yeah. That's fair, actually. I mean, but I wonder, uh, but but I do worry about one thing. Yeah. How the fuck are they going to do this heads? Uh, they showed a short animation reel a year ago. Didn't they? Yeah. Um, okay, so the first movie made $75 million at the box office. It was fairly good. And uh, these are during its theatrical runs. If anyone calls me out thinking that these are good, I hope you realize that I have never in my life claimed that I had good taste in movies. I have watched the entire Escape Movie franchise, and the only one I found was bad was the fifth one. (laughs) I heard that movie was terrible. It was! Um, And even then, I I I still enjoy myself watching that movie at times. Yeah. Um, the... the second movie I also watched the Haunted House duology and I didn't see a problem with much of it except for the fact that the second one kind of copied a lot of the beat, same beats on the first one. Wow. You can clearly sh- see I kind of have terrible taste in movies. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, Roger Rules, the second one made $72 million. Granted, I'm only okay with that because they're comedies yeah. and, my, and subjectively my sense of comedy is kind of terrible. Um, the third one, Dog Days, made $77 million. Mm-hmm. And the fourth one, The Long Haul, made $40 million. Is this? Yeah. Straight from Wikipedia's. So... Actually... Yeah. So... The total... 75, 72, 77? Yeah. Yeah, Long, yeah. Long Haul's the lowest grossing movie. I mean, to be fair, they didn't bomb. And then there's the... Because if you notice, the budget's here. Yeah. The, the reason they were able to, they decided to make a sequel was because Diary of a Wimpy Kid was made with a budget of $15 million. Yeah. It made, uh, it made like, thrice Bang. its budget. Four times. <laughs> the, the next one over was $21 million, but it still made a ton of money, and the next one over was $22 million. And the next one over was... Twenty-two million again, but <laughs> you can clearly see the drop in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, the reception was kind of terrible, yeah. and in general, people were pissed at the replacements. Yeah. All right. All right. The King Bowser is back. Oh, thank goodness. The royal countenance is restored. I probably mispronounced that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Accept our royal gratitude! Money. Because, yeah. Now we must replenish ourselves. You know, that Dark Fork Papyrus is certainly no joke. Well, we're all in a lot of trouble that's gone for all around. Go and warn the princess while we take care of this. Um, num, num, num. Alright, you probably don't remember who the princess was. I don't remember much of this uh, game at all. I don't remember the princess, so... This is going to be a surprise for both of us. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember my, my reasoning. That one joke... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Krom and fucking... <laughs> Who were like... and Lucia and Bowser had to, like, swat children, and they were yeah. both heavily influenced by the other. Yeah. For alligator. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, All four of them are playable in Smash Brothers. So. Speaking of Smash Brothers and, and Nintendo, I guess, uh, there have been uh, rumors of a Nintendo Direct happening sometime soon in September. Which is, uh... Right now. <laughs> right now. Uh, it probably may have happened by the time this goes up, but I don't fucking know. I don't. I can't see the future. But uh, I mean, Nintendo Directs have traditionally happened in September, so I wouldn't be too surprised. And yeah. And if one does happen, I just want to say I people are probably going to get their expectations too high and end up disappointed. Because that happens <sighs> all every single direct time, all the time. To be fair, the the E3 one was deserved. That was easily one of the best directs we've had in a while. Yeah. Can't. I still can't wait for Metro Dread. 
That comes out next, next month. month. Yeah. I, I saw I saw a terrible co like Twitter comment. It was like, so should I? Uh, so I'm gonna be guessing here. Lily's probably gonna be buying the anniversary collection of Dan Rupa. Oh, I I already pre-ordered that like a couple days ago <laughs> <laughs> myself. Oh shit, for alligator. Um. Okay. What I was saying was, I saw a bad Twitter comment about Metroid Dread. It was like, uh, why, why is this indie game cost 60 bucks? And I'm like, what? What? <laughs> okay, just because it's a side throwing 2D game does not automatically mean it's an indie game. It just means it's, you know, the search action genre. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know Metroidvania is a literal genre name, but... I actually kind of prefer the search action genre. Because neither Metroid uh, nor Castlevania have kind of used those, uh, those, fu those fucking, like, uh, you know, conventions in forever. Yeah. Mostly because Castlevania is dead, and the last <laughs> couple games that they had were 3D, and uh, Metroid is only just a sound return to the search action genre. Samus Returns on the 3DS is, is there. Samus Returns was a remake, though. Yeah. I mean, like, a new game. Yeah. Because before that, there was Federation Force. And Metroid Prime 4 is still never coming out. Development tells a bitch. Yeah, they had to restart development because they were like, eh, this is good. I mean, Metro Dread canceled development twice, so... Oh, true. <laughs> Say what you will about uh, Metroid's development hell cycle. It'll eventually come out, probably. Yeah. Probably. Uh, Yandere Simulator. Yandere Simulator is more ego than yeah, development. That game's never coming out. Yeah. There's an entire fucking Twitter account dedicated to things that happened before Yandere Simulator finished development. Which is sad but hilarious. And accurate. Nope. The final game in the No More Heroes franchise released before Yandere Simulator finished development. Has it been with the final game? Yeah. Huh. After 10 years and 110 chapters, the 8th part of JoJo came to an end before Young. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur has been cancelled after 25 years and will air in finale in December 2022. Metroid Dread is coming. <laughs> <laughs> that one was announced 19 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Super well, it wasn't announced, but it was really into that. Yeah, Super Mario 3D All-Stars was released and unlisted before Yandere Sim finished development. <laughs> the PS3 store almost closed before Yandere Sim, but Sony reversed their decision. Probably because it was going to be hell on their infrastructure and everyone hated the idea. Yeah. You must forget about that, for real. You are going to the Prince Chief, after all. Prince Master Chief. Uh, Super Nintendo World opened before... <laughs> Here's one. Pokemon decided to change up its formula for once. Yeah. A Nintendo Direct happened after 500 plus days of waiting. <laughs> February. Um. Oh, well, 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 let's let's see this happen after everything is said and done. Cro the coronavirus pandemic happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In its entirety before the Android similar. Ado know? Adobe Flash died. Before. Yeah. I miss Flash. Yeah. The, well, I guess because of the fact that it's kind of annoying to, like, find ways around the death of Flash. Yeah. Cyberpunk came out before. <laughs> and got de and got taken away. Yeah. Sephiroth came to Smash being the first third-party villain. To the, the join. Um. Uh. uh <sighs> Kadabra Pokemon cards can be printed again. <laughs> the World Ends With You is received, received the sequel. Yeah, that was good. A brand new James Bond game is happening by the Hitman development team. Um, the ninth generation co of consoles began with the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Yes. So we're just going to be ignoring the Nintendo Switch, I guess? Or it's, does that count as the last one? It's considered 8th gen. So Nintendo's just going to skip this entire generation, let's be honest here. Who knows? As long as you get Switch Pro, that's never happening. The original Fire Emblem got localized and delisted before. <laughs> yeah. 
lightsaber real before you yeah, embrace him. <laughs> Steve from Minecraft joined Smash Bros. before Yandere Simulator finished the film. He also wrote Twitter, apparently. Um, no Man's Sky went an entire redemption arc. <laughs> before Bethesda bought... Fuck. Microsoft bought Bethesda. The DS... The 3DS got discontinued. Final Fantasy 16 was announced. Scott Pilgrim vs. The Game came back, and... Uh, I don't know. Homestuck ended? Homestuck ended. And then got brought back? And then got discontinued by the by the sheer amount of hate that it had achieved? Yeah. I mean, it's still gonna finish, but... It's gonna be like, it's not even gonna be giving out updates, it's just like... They're gonna dump it out the second that they've done, they're done with everything. Yeah. Uh, Blockbuster has been MIA on Twitter since January of 2014. Yandere Sim has been in development since April of 2014. They tweeted. Blockbuster tweeted, just checking in. Okay, we see enough. Checking out. Yeah, that's that's enough of that. But moral of the story, that game's never coming out. Okay. Anyway, I have a he I am now dizzy from reading all that. Uh, anyway, I hit 300 subscribers on my main YouTube channel, which will never transfer over to this YouTube channel. Unless I try hard enough, but... I'm trying. Eh. Who knows? Secondary channels never make, never get as popular True. as the first ones. True. Well, I won't say never, actually, because I'm pretty sure there has been cases of that happening. Yeah. Ugh. Um... Yeah. It's also the first time Uneven Buddies shit has been done in the month of September. <sighs> Somehow. We got three game kids. Uh, what else has happened in the world of... Life. Life. 